We've just uh, taken a look at uh, GNOME extensions and there is one I want to tell you about and it's this one dynamic panel transparency and this is the one you see on top here so if we are going to take a look at some of the programs which is this one so dynamic panel transparency is the one I've installed it's coming from here and it just shows you this and then you have to decide whether you want it or not so I installed it and what happens if you take a window and you maximize it then this becomes darker or lighter it's up to you so when maximizing that's one state and when not maximized that's another state and you go in here dynamic panel transparency and you have this little icon so we can change it you can change the transition speed did not change anything here foreground I don't believe I changed anything here so that's the color of this thing here and background I did change some stuff here so enable custom opacity I think it was like this and uh, well if it is like this and I apply it then it was very very light very dark and very light like so so too bright in my eyes I can't see in this wallpaper anyway I can't really see what's going on so we can do so and background enable custom opacity maximize opacity nothing so black you can also have a little bit opaque and unmaximized opacity and we can try that again and see apply see what that is we have this in opaque we have this transparent so not opaque I mean transparent and transparent so we're getting there without using Compton because Compton is the one that can provide us shadows and transparency so without using that one we can have some kind of glossy and dynamic uh, transparency here and um, yeah we were going to open uh, it like this so we have here now in black these are all other extensions we're going to talk about them in a bit but this is possible so you can have a background and you can make it a little bit opaque or less opaque uh, unmaximized maybe like so it's all up to you enable the panel custom panel color didn't did not try that but you can do that too like so let it red apply it's like this so anything is possible so that's nice that we can have so many choices app tweaks that's something else um, let's see if we can get rid of that again like so apply and it's probably is going to kick in when we do it like so so what's wondering what this is app tweaks drop down terminal window edit let's see what this is uh -huh. okay so we'll have to figure out what that does but anyway i wanted to share this knowledge here dynamic panel transparency looks nice then the cover flow alt tap has been installed as well so alt tap is like so the cover flow and dash it up we've explained that alternate tap we have to get rid of that this maybe okay nobody there's no conflicts between this one and that one but they are both on l tap so we can change this as well and check out if we can have anything more speed animation i leave that up to you to check that out and net speed we've explained in another tutorial status menu buttons was over there no system monitor that's the one i made extra so these things here that's the way how it looks when we click on it and this is extra information from system monitor that's gone net speed was up here that's gone and um, status menu buttons to the status menu when using light dim okay user themes the G that's right the G that's there we can't get rid of it I guess is the G from classic gnome 
So don't uh, spend another moment, one second, about why is this she there? And then dynamic panel transparency, dash to dock, cover flow. We've done everything. So that's it for me. Now this um, take a look at other extensions. It uh, kind of looks cool, I guess, when we have this transparent as well. And we have this menu here. Also, we can look through it, so it's transparent. It's not Compton, it's not uh, Compass, but it's, uh, it has some animation, it has some uh, possibilities. So this is also now uh, transparent. There is also a script that's available on my system here, on my data, Telecos GNOME installation, just showing you that. Right mouse click, open in terminal, slash install GNU is enough. GNOME Terminal Transparency version 1. So you can install an actual GNOME terminal that's really transparent. This is just our glassy theme that's going to kick in. That's why everything is a little bit uh, transparent. But if we want really an actual GNOME that's going to be transparent, we need to install this program. Shall we wait for it or not? I don't know. It's going to be gonna take long. In the meantime I'm using the time to use the custom shortcut keys. The Alt N. We have Alt N and this is next so the variety dash N. Okay let's put this one here. Alt T I don't like airplanes. It's gonna trash it. Alt T I don't like this either. Alt T I don't like this either and so on. So we can go ahead and choose our wallpapers. With Alt F, I'm going to put it in my favorites folder. And Alt N is next. Alt P is back. Alt Arrow Up is pause. This I want to keep this for today. And Alt Arrow Down is come on, give me the next one. And so on. So arrows work as well to the left and to the right. Zombie cheat sheet. <laughs> okay, whatever. <laughs> delete this one, delete this one, and so on. Let's take a look if the installation is finished. Not yet. Ah, that's nice when you put it like this. <laughs> you still see it move in its code. Great. You'll probably do the same here as well, as you see in the overview what's going on. And there we are, we're almost there. Stripping the unneeded symbols from the binaries and the libraries and then we are stopping this tutorial. So this is GNOME. GNOME Terminal is now uh, Control alt t And here you see when you go to Profiles, Profile Preferences, Colors, Transparent Background. Yes, we have now a slider here and we can change it to Transparency as well. Uh, so everything really looks transparent. So it's up to you to see and figure out if you want all this uh, neat stuff, this desktop customization, but you can. Bye for now.